Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. In the Microsoft Edge Canary web browser at the moment, it seems that Microsoft is getting future versions of the Edge browser ready to take on the look and feel and the user interface elements of Windows 11. And I have Microsoft Edge Canary open, which is a pre-release unstable version of the Edge browser used for testing and experimenting. Now, currently in the Edge Canary version of uh, the browser, Microsoft has added a new flag, which basically changes the design and the browser user interface elements to take on either that of Windows 10 or 11. And that obviously depends if you are using, you know, Windows 10 or 11. Now, the flag has the same changes for both uh, Windows 10 and 11. And basically, it, it only at this stage changes the font and uh, the font style and size of, of the font in the uh, Edge Canary browser. So if we just go at the moment before I apply the flag to our menu, we can see this is what it looks like. And it looks pretty, you know, you know, there's quite a bit going on here. And it looks quite compact. Now, the flag is called Enable Windows 11 Visual Updates. And if you are running Edge Canary and would like to try this uh, new flag out, just head up to your address bar and just type in edge colon forward slash forward slash flags. That's edge colon forward slash forward slash flags. Now, in the search, you just uh, type in enable Windows 11 visual updates. Now, I've already copied it, so I'm just going to paste it in. And here's the flag. It says enables in progress visuals appropriate for your currently installed version of Windows. And that's what I mentioned previously. Now, to apply the flag, we just change it from default to enabled. We restart the Edge Canary browser to apply the flag. And nothing has really changed. But as I mentioned earlier, if we just go back to that menu, we can see now that the font has got a little bit larger and has been spaced out a little bit more than it was. You know, it was a bit more compact and smaller uh, in um, uh, before I applied the flag. Now, after I've applied the flag, we can see that the font is slightly larger and obviously is spaced out you know, the actual favorites collections history, the headers are spaced out a little bit um, more than it was previously before I applied the flag. So it seems that Microsoft is, you know, getting uh, the Edge browser ready, you know, to take on, you know, that user interface of Windows 11. But at the moment, there's nothing else that has changed in Edge Canary. It's just um, the menu and the fonts that have changed as I've demonstrated in this video. But obviously it's early days. And this could change over time when it eventually makes its way to the stable version of the Edge browser, which gets rolled out to Windows 11. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.